Hello, Dave Morelli here. In this episode of Morelli's Tactical Vantage, we're going to go back in time uh, to the 18th century and 19th century um, and work with some of the rifles that uh, they had to work with or replicas thereof. And uh, the whole idea for me for muzzle loading is to hunt with them and to hunt with the same tools that they used back in those days. Um, a lot of muzzleloader hunters uh, now are shooting modern muzzleloaders. They're in lines. Um, they have um, 209 primers, uh, sabotage bullets, and they shoot rather well. You can put a scope on them. Uh, in Idaho, the muzzleloader season is a traditional hunt. Uh, no optics are allowed other than fixed sights or peep sights. You have to use granulated powder, uh, patch ball, and if you want to use a conical uh, or maxi type bullet or a buffalo bullet, it has to be within 10 thousandths of the diameter of the bore. So there's no sabot on it. Um, for me, that's just fine. I, I like to shoot uh, guns that uh, are closer to what our forefathers used. So let's look at some choices and see what would be the best for what type of hunting you want to do. Okay, depending on how far back in time you want to go or how primitive of a shooting piece you want to go with, one of the rifles that actually was probably more uh, prevalent with the mountain men than the rifle um, Hawken is this, and this is a trade gun. It's a smooth bore. It's 62 caliber or 20 gauge. Now the reason why they like these is they would shoot a um, patched round 62 caliber ball, which is a sizable ball, uh, accurate out in that 70 yard range, uh, accurate for hunting. You'll see this ball when I show you, it's the uh, ball on the right, and it's quite a sizable ball. The other advantage to this is it could be loaded with shot, and if, if you were living out in the woods for an extended period of time, it would be advantageous to have a gun that shot BBs and shot loads uh, for collecting up small game. It also had the famed buck and ball load where it would you'd put a ball in, a, a, a full-size ball, and then several buckshot size loads, double-aught buckshot size loads. And that was a good uh, hunting load and a defensive load. This is a beautiful rendition of the gun made by a uh, very close friend of mine, Alan West. And uh, it, it would be a good choice for hunting. But you got to remember, it's a smooth board. During the Revolutionary War period, there were guns that were similar to this, and this is one that I've crafted. This is actually done in a Dickert uh, school. It is a 54 caliber uh, gun. The snipers of the Revolutionary War were very, very feared because having rifling in this, uh, in this weapon made it very accurate at longer ranges, um, which really made guerrilla fighting uh, a good tactic for the boys on our side back in those days. Uh, this one and the trade rifle are both flintlocks, depending on how primitive you want to go with your hunting. This rifle has a twist in it. It's a 1 in 57 twist. And what that means is the ball will turn one time in 57 inches and it gives a twist to the projectile, which uh, provides better accuracy. They found that the, if you twist it and make it spin when it leaves the barrel, it'll be more accurate. Um, this is a really good choice for hunting. It's 54 caliber, caliber. it'll take deer, elk, uh, bear, stuff like that. Has plenty of energy. And you'll see in the, the 54 caliber ball will be the, uh, when I show you the picture here, It'll be the ball on the uh, left next to the big uh, buffalo bullet. And that's a 54 caliber ball. Should you like a rifled gun that has the ability to shoot both the buffalo bullet or conical, which 
uh, in the uh, you'll see that buffalo bullet you can pick it out pretty good it dwarfs the others in weight it's 425 grains the ball shooter twists 60s um, 57s such and such of that will not stabilize that bullet very well however Lyman makes a rifle and this one here is the uh, Lyman trade rifle it's a 54 caliber bore it's a 1 in 48 twist the uh, 48 twist will give you the ability to shoot either the ball or the buffalo bullet with reasonable hunting accuracy so if you ever want to hunt something that's a little bigger or you want a little more energy but you still want to shoot balls when you go to rendezvous or something of that sort the 48 twist might be more what you like and uh, we're going to shoot a few of these and we'll see how they how they work and how they group we're shooting Ninety grains of 3F in all these. Uh, this is a this is the ball shooter that I built. I like a 90 grain load. That's a good hunting load, so we're going to use it in all for all the loads. Uh, for the Lyman, the user's manual says that 90 grains of 3F is great behind a round ball, and it's okay behind a maxi. You can load them a lot heavier with 2F if you'd like to. I don't find that it's necessary. So let's give this one a try. We're shooting uh, Hornady lead through this. Uh, they make the round ball and they also make the buffalo bullet. Um, both are excellent quality. Um, the Hornady balls are uh, pure lead. They shoot very, very well. Okay, we're shooting at 25 yards. Um, there's my two shots right there. They're close together. Um, they're just a little low. Uh, I built that rifle a little while ago. I really sighted it or worked on the sights at all, but that's that's fine right there. A little fouling off the front sight, and we can put it right where we want. Okay, this is the uh, Lyman's Plains rifle. It's got a one in forty-eight twist. We're going to shoot three balls out of it, round balls, and we're going to shoot three of the buffalo bullets. Ninety grains of powder out of both. Um, the patch ball has a 15 thousandths patch. So let's give her a whirl. Ah. It's got a good report to it. This trade rifle, when you buy it, it comes with a cleaning jag, it comes with adjustable sights, and it comes with traditional sights. And I put the adjustable sight on here um, just because it was already cut out with a groove to line up with the front sight. And uh, But you can go with the traditional sight and work it up that way, or you can use the adjustable sight. Let's see how this goes here and shoot a couple of more rounds. If you're going to use your muzzle loader for shooting matches at rendezvous or something, you're going to be shooting it offhand. These guns are meant to be shot offhand. A good way to practice for that is to shoot steel. Here's our round ball shooter, our Lyman trade rifle. And I've got some steel out there. And this is a fun way to do it. And it helps if the cap goes off. This is a lesson, okay? Caps aren't just much better than flintlocks. They, they fail to fire too. And we're gonna keep this aim down range for a few seconds for safety, and then we'll put another cap on it. Okay, let's try her again. Dead head, dead center hit on that steel. Okay, it's been getting windy and it's in the teens out there, so it's a little cool. Uh, so I'm going to be coming in the shop and loading for each shot. 
we're shooting the uh, mini ball now. You can see it's a pretty sizable little chunk of lead. And the loading sequence for this is I'm shooting 90 grains of 3F graph and sun powder. So we're going to dump that in there. I've already got it in my measure. So in that goes. And then the patch round ball, of course, I've been using uh, Oxy Lube patches for all the shooting for the balls. The Maxi Ball is preloaded or pre lubed, so you got to get it started and then set it home. And as you can see, that's all you got to do. So it's ready to be capped and shot. So let's go out and shoot our three shot group uh, at the target with the maxi balls. We've already got our uh, target shot with the uh, round balls. Let's see how they compare. Okay, we, we shot our three shot group and I'm going to show you the results here in a minute. I just can't resist throwing a maxi ball at some steel. So let's give her a shot. Whew, boy, that baby hits hard. Maxi ball on steel. Offhand. Okay, these are the three shots with the round ball. And uh, you can see they're pretty good group. It's starting to get windy on us. And then these. Top the top target you can see those are the three shots with the buffalo bullet you can see you're gonna have to work your rifle it shoots a little different but it also shoots it just as well so you can see the buffalo bullet shoots just as well as the uh, round balls as far as group you just got to make sure you know where you're going to put that group and adjust the, the deal so it gets there so the 48 twist is a good option if you want to shoot both and especially if you go to a 50 cal because then you could shoot 50 cal is a good caliber it's it's not quite as big as a 54 but if you shoot round balls out of your 50 and then you go to a maxi ball or a buffalo bullet now you're getting 325 grains. So, but you gotta have to at least have that 48 twist or even a little faster if you want. Well, that's it for this time with Morelli's Tactical Advantage. I'll see you next time. Please stay tuned. Bye bye.